We've got three trials for each of the legendary Brotherhood members, the first being Zobek, and I think this is the one that really pissed me off as a part of this uh, actual DLC here. So it makes sense, you know, we got Zobek here, so we're gonna have to fight the, the necromancers and the, the ghosts and things like that. The undead enemies. Of course, these are the guys that will kill you in two hits. They do about 50%. Actually, it's more like 75%, I believe. And I think I found out that the close range attacks are actually probably better in the long run than the long range ones. Just because it gets them out of the way faster, but... Magic, huh? Any idea what kind of magic, or am I just trialing an error this? I mean, I trialed and errored all of the other ones, so why not? So, light and shadow? Or just shadow and shadow, okay. Fine. Have a your way game. So this is what I remember being kind of the bulk of the DLC, but it looks like that's not really the case. It's just kind of this small portion here at the end. And these portals! Okay, this is what really ticked me off about this. I think I'm just gonna unlock this solution. The Brotherhood gave me a map of the Founder's Quarters and even pinpointed the location of the Three Blood Orbs, but their help has proven worthless since the Dark Lords modified the layout of this place, further protecting the orbs with deadly traps and mechanisms. This particular zone, after it was changed by the Necromancer Lord, has become a bewildering maze of portals and moving platforms. I guess that this monolith works as a key of sorts, and could be used to access Zobek's Blood Orb. Okay, so before I unlock this solution, because I think I am, because this is just infuriating. So you remember that section of the Land of the Dead, right? Uh, where we had to go through the portals and we had to kind of like warp around and kind of like find the end. That puzzle didn't exactly overstay its welcome, I would say. I was getting a little bit annoyed at the end, but it like wasn't too, too bad. This one right here, I, cause you know, I was stubborn when I first played this game, like, oh, I gotta do it the correct way. I remember this one just pissing me off badly. So I think what we have to do is, what, what do we even have to do? What happens when I just, uh, jump into one of these? I don't know if I can jump into these. I think we have to, we have to position, um, and I think we use the mechanism over here, something like that. We have to position everything to where, like, everything makes sense. If you get this. It does that, okay, so we don't teleport, instead this thing teleports, we have to get it to the center, obviously. I forget how we move the floor around, though. Um, there's gotta be some way to do it. I think that you can activate those buttons using your gauntlet. Oh yeah, that's right. So this is just rolling, and you remember that, that part in Frankenstein's uh, lab, whenever we were last in this castle, to where, um, you had to, like, pound the ground to get the electric current to go where you wanted it to go, and things like that? Yeah, it comes back for this too. And I don't feel like doing it. Should I try? I mean, I guess I should at least try. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not giving up right off the bat. We're gonna try. Oh, this is just gonna go back? Okay. Well, what good does getting it right here do? That doesn't do anything for me. And if I just knock it off the edge, I don't think that'll do anything either. Of course, you have to keep jumping in order to get over the pits, too. It's a mess, man. Okay, I think this is the one that we have to do. Look at me saying I'm just gonna unlock the solution to the not doing it. Maybe this isn't as annoying as I thought. Right? We'll, we'll try this. Maybe I was just being impatient all those years ago. And I've matured into a young adult, you know? I'm not even a young adult anymore. I had that kind of awakening, you know, whenever I was, like, doing orientation for this new position I've taken. Because, you know, since I moved to the great state of Texas. And I realized I was no longer classified as a, uh... As a, a an inexperienced young driver. And I was like, oh my god, seriously? Okay, so that goes into the purple, which I... I don't know how I get that up there, though. Like, what? Huh? So that, that only goes down. So what do I do? Kill okay, it. Wait, I think I need to get it to pur No, purple's where it started. Let's just play around with this one. Seriously, there has to be a way to get that all the way up, right? Because that's the logical way this has to go, so... Maybe if I hit it harder... Still not working. So how do you get it up? Is there no way to actually get something right there? Okay, well let's try hitting on this one. I don't think this would do anything. Yeah, it's the wrong gate. I mean, oh wait, how do I get in there? Maybe I can just ram it in there? Or maybe I have to like charge into it. Something heavier could break it. Oh, like this? So maybe I just punch this thing. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be the switch I have to trip. Okay, maybe... Huh. Okay, yeah, well, that does it. 
Okay, maybe this won't be as difficult as I as I thought. Huh. Which would be weird, because I remember spending a lot of time on this. I was ready to give up before I even tried. My bad memories of it. Okay, I think we're almost there. Maybe this is just part one. <laughs> Watch this just be part one. Yeah, that's probably what this is. So we have to get this, um... Okay, we have to get this to the blue, obviously. But, uh... If I punch it now, it'll just go off course. We haven't used this one yet. Have we? I don't think we have. So let's get it down here. But no, that's not gonna work either, because... It just goes right there. Wait, what in the world? Oh wait, can I move this now? I think I can move this from the main button, right? I say main button, but it's the one that we just got open with the door. I think so. Okay, no, it doesn't move, so... What gives? I'm surprised it took me this long to actually like fall into a pit. Oh, it just does that. It's right there. Oh, I'm confused. Okay, hold up. I have to keep thinking outside the box here. Um. Hmm. So we know that it has to be in the purple somehow. What happens if I like put it back in the purple? Counter counterproductive. It's not what we want. And I promise I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because who wants to spend a ton of time on this? Yeah, so it has to be there. So, where do we go after this? Do I just hit it over here and hope- uh, maybe- maybe the momentum will like slow down. No, I've already tried. It just goes off the edge, right? Yeah, it just goes off the freaking edge. So what gives, man? Well, I mean, I've gotten this far. I don't want to unlock the, the solution now. And there's only so many buttons you can push. I just need like the middle one back, but there is no middle one looking at there. Okay, I think that's gonna do it, actually. Okay, so it turns out you can hit that button again and it only grays out whenever that piece that's near the blue portal is actually not, um, is, is in its way. So that's why it was grayed out before. That's kind of what took me some time. But I think now we can get this one all the way over, correct? Actually get it to where, yeah, okay. So I can push it all the way over here now. Don't go into the, the white one, for sure. That'll get into the blue one and then it's a straight shot from there. Okay, so to- <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I just came back. Took a bit of time, but uh, that was not as annoying as I thought it was, okay. I don't know why, I- Huh, I guess maybe it just took my younger brain a lot more time to figure that out. Okay, here we go, we did it. <laughs> oh boy. That was just one of the three. Well, that must be the blood orbs that they're talking about. Well done, we have Zobek's blood! Oh, get me out of here. Oh, this is literally their blood, like the blood of the three saints. Holy crap. It's been around a while. Alright, Zobek's done. Next up, Carmilla. Beautiful Carmilla. I didn't get to know your human past. But I cannot stop thinking that some part of it still existed in the creature that I called Mother. And I still envy you for that. Yeah, I would guess you would have mixed Lord, feelings about that. Can you cross to the other side and look for Camilla's blood? So this amount's going to be purely as Laura, huh? Who has not gotten her health back. After that fight with all of those ghouls. A blood sacrifice is needed, it would seem. So if I had to guess, this one's going to be a bit more combat heavy. Yep, here we go. Okay. So can I actually get through... Can I get through here? Is that... Okay, I can do that. But I don't know what good that's going to do me exactly. Let's see, what can we do here? Oh, I have to offer a blood. Okay. More blood must be offered. So this is going to be a game of where I have to offer a blood, but then I'm going to have to take the ghouls down in order to get more blood from them. Okay, so let's take him down here. Let's go ahead and try to get up to full HP. Uh, to try is the key word here, as combat with Laura, as we've already seen, can be a little... a little difficult. 
be a little trying. At least the dodge is really, really good. Like, it's just pure invincibility frames, I think, so... Okay, don't do that! Suck on it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, now they're gonna feed on the corpse. God, I just messed up so badly by doing that. Now they're gonna be so freaking strong, I'm gonna die. Okay, maybe it's best that I start this over, to be honest. Because, I mean, I can suck all the blood from here, but it'll be a net loss from what I had whenever we started, honestly. Okay, so we'll stop. There we go. Let's try to get back up to full, but these guys, they, they just get so... They get too strong whenever they, they eat, so... You have to not suck at the game in order to actually like, win this. Okay, come on. And now we just throw it aside. Okay, so that, that might be about as full as we're gonna get. So let's see how much we can actually get in here. I will give it to him, though. Combat with War may not be very fun, but it is, you know, an interesting... Interesting way to get the store open. I think we can do one more. More blood must be offered, but I feel too weak. Yeah, I know. I kind of pushed you to your limits right there. Probably wasn't a very smart move, but we'll see. I think I want to focus on just one of them. It seems to be the strategy for Laura. Drink it all in. Don't go too, too far. It looks like it does get back up, like it doesn't actually destroy itself. So, interesting. You know, we'll get you, and we should be able to go in for another offering after this. You would think. Yeah, yeah, we'll be close to full. Okay, don't go too far, because that'll happen. <laughs> At least we've seen what happens whenever that you go too far with that now. Okay, let's go ahead and see if I can get a little bit more in there. I don't really know how you stop that from happening, necessarily, but... But I feel too weak. At least now I know it's kind of inevitable that these- Wow, they do so much damage. And that thumb wasn't even the powered up ones. Jesus, it's too many. R.I.P. I wonder if I have to start all over with the blood sacrifices if that's the case as well. Hey, where did you guys get that food? Where'd you get those bodies to feed on? I guess it makes sense it's gonna get more difficult as it goes on. Let's see, do I have to start from the very beginning though? I have to start from the very beginning with that, that'll be slight. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? That's a, that's a game over. Yep, yep, okay, cool. Laura. Have to be a bit more careful. The other side and look for Camilla's blood. Offering it that something. should do it, okay. Ironically, a lot easier to get than Zobex, I have to say. I think the Got secret it. for, um... I have Camilla's blood. The secret for combat with lore is you just dodge around non-stop. Just do basic attacks and then just dodge. Basic attack and dodge. Like, the eye frames really are overpowered, so... There we go, hey. And if that kind of ascendant difficulty, I guess we're doing it in reverse order, because Cornell's the last one. Ah, Cornell. The youngest of the founders. His overconfidence blinded him to the threat that you represented until it was too late. Yeah, I mean, he was the first to go. In a way, though, he was the most difficult of the three, actually, just because we were so limited by what we could do. And I thought lichens would be over here, but maybe not lichens themselves. Okay, again, we're gonna be as smart about this and just get this over here quickly. Give me that sword. Got your sword! Did I do it? Did I fail? I guess I freaking failed. Uh, that's fine, though. Let's try Shadow, actually. Don't even want to waste my time grabbing onto you. Yeah, this must be the weaker type. They're not doing a ton of damage. There we go. It's kind of weird having, like, more holy water than I know what to deal with. A good problem, though. It works so well in conjunction with the light magic. So what is our last trial going to be? Let us see. Ah, oh, great, it's a moving block puzzle. Man, why does this game always have to be like this? Oh. God, I've hated moving block puzzles since my Pokemon days. Let's see what we got. 
I was searching around the Founder's quarters when I found a mysterious note left by the Vampire Dark Lord about this place. The door to Cornell's blood will only open when one of my puppets stands on the middle of the board. I can only guess that this has something to do with the infamous spell of the Puppeteer, the wicked sorcery that the Dark Lord used to control armors and rag dolls. Okay, so there needs to be a puppet in the middle. Okay. When you say puppet, what do you mean by that exactly? What is over here? Oh, it's one of the Frankenstein fingers. That I do not care about. Okay, well let's just see what happens when we trip the switch. I want to play too! What fun! Oh! Oh, see if you are able to put the toy into the center of the board. Okay. Okay, so he goes straight, but there's no way to stop him after that, so what I have to do is I have to get this deadly toy into the center. And how would I go about doing that? Well, I have to use that movable block in order to kind of, kind of like, make it happen. Yeah, it's a moving block puzzle. It's a Pokemon Ice Physics puzzle. My toy! Hey, I, I'm guessing you can conjure like an unlimited amount of these things. Don't get too upset. I guess we just push this thing, yep. And just like the actual toy, it will move until something stops it from moving. Yeah, these are great. And you want to remember the Ice Cavern puzzle back in Pokemon Crystal? That was the first time I was kind of exposed to something like this. But okay, so, um, in order to get it to the center... Wait, I think that does it, doesn't it? I just go boop, 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 no, 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 not quite. I think if it goes right here... Doesn't that do it? You push it right here, here, down, and then the center? It can't be that easy. No, no, I'm missing something, right? And another one. I think it's that easy. I think this is- yeah, this is 100%- No, 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 because of the fire right there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it cannot be that easy. Let's go look at this, though. Boom, 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 boom. What we need to do? I'm trying to look at where I can move that that block. I think it has to go. If I move this thing, because I couldn't get it, so going up doesn't seem to be really an option here. It goes all the way. If I go down, down right, I could pause. No. Hold up. I I can figure this out. I think that's going to do it. Actually, yeah. So you go up. Okay, so I was focusing on the left side of the board, and it's the right side where- it, okay. So that block right there, I had it in the correct place originally, you just have to send the toy to the right and make its way around like that. Okay, well, I'll give it that, I thought that was more enjoyable than the Zobek puzzle. Yeah, and I also saw all the ghoul pits opening there, can't we just grab it and get out? Not really in a combat mood anymore. Okay, let's go. Just gonna grab the orb and leave, I don't need any more points. Yeah, have fun over there, guys. Well done! We have Cornell's blood! Hey, let me guess, the uh, door like locked behind us or something? Is that what happened? Can I not? Come on, can we just leave? No, we're just- we're, we're just gonna leave. I'm out. Later, guys. Ha ha! Screw you. Yeah, I wasn't really in the mood for any more combat, so hey, there we go. So we have all of the blood orbs. So I believe now we just go to the top and that is that. I remember that taking a lot longer, I don't know why. But okay, so with all three of them, there should be a mechanism that we use up here. Ah, door. There we go. And one more puzzle, because why not? Gotta get them all to the bottom. Okay. So... Ah, oh god, this is gonna make my head hurt. So we just rotate them like this? Okay. So this should be pretty easy, so we just match up. Oh, but they can go this way, too. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, this is gonna be a little bit more annoying than I thought. They can go down like this, and... Oh, my. Okay, uh... God, there's so many potential combinations. I mean... Well, that- that works for that one, but how do you- it's like a Rubik's Cube! You think you got it done, but you- you really don't. 
You have to take into consideration all three of them. Oh, is there a hint scroll around here? Oh, yeah, there is. Let's just go ahead and take a look at that. I might need to unlock this one. I am the last of the knights that sworn to protect the portal, and now, with the end of my days quickly approaching, I guess that my duty is almost finished. The last thing I'll do as a brother of light will be to detail the portal aperture process to allow our legacy to live on in the hands of the next knight. It is fairly simple. The only thing needed are the three blood orbs of the Brotherhood founders, which can be found in this tower. Once in the hands of the chosen one, the blood must be poured into the respectacle receptacle placed in the bottom of the mechanism. That doesn't help. I knew I had to do that. Dude, dude, give me a hint about the combination or something, because this is this is gonna take a while. Oh, I think that'll do it. Okay. Oh yeah, that is definitely gonna do it, okay. <laughs> okay, a lot of trial and error there, not gonna lie, but... Okay, the final puzzle solved. I didn't skip a single one of them, I'm gonna take that with some pride. Okay. And with that, I guess the prison containing the... What was it, the, the abandoned one? The lost one? Something like The forgotten one, that's what it was. So that seal is finally broken. Portal is open. I will go in. You stay here. Wait! You will die! The other side is no place for humans. Only dark beings can survive there. There is darkness in me. Yes, but there is also love, compassion, and tenderness. You must leave it all behind. You must become a creature like me. Drink my blood. Its power can protect you once you get to the other side. I'm sorry, you have no choice. I know. I never did. Blood is running through your veins. It is a powerful poison that will soon kill you. You must keep drinking from me. What? No. My blood must completely replace yours. You must continue to the last drop. Many lifetimes I have lived, many I have killed. All my power will be yours now. No! Laura, please! Do it now, or you will die! Free me from this miserable existence! I beg you! 